welcome to the mathematics in my channel in this video we are going to solve another interesting uh, matrix question uh, this question from uh, phd qualifying exam uh, american universities so here we have a matrix a is equal to pi over 4 times matrix uh, 7 minus 3 minus 3 7 so uh, we should find a, a sign of a in closed form okay mm, how to begin well uh, before solve this question uh, let's consider uh, the concept of uh, sign of a matrix okay uh, we know about uh, this equation a is equal to p d p inverse here a is a diagonalizable matrix and uh, in previous videos uh, so many times we discuss about this formula a is equal to p d p inverse so uh, also we uh, talk about uh, the power of a matrix or exponential matrix so we know if we take a to the n power we can write this is equal to p d to the n p inverse and here uh, d diagonal matrix we can take a 0 0 b okay uh, then um, here we know a to the n p d to the n p inverse so we can write uh, a to the n is equal to uh, p and here d to the n so uh, this is the diagonal matrix d and we know d to the n is equal to a to the n 0 0 b to the n therefore here we can write uh, a to the n 0 0 b to the n p inverse okay then uh, we should find the sign of uh, a sign of a matrix so uh, we know uh, sine of x uh, the Maclaurin series of sine of x is equal to sum of 0 to infinity minus 1 to the n times x to the 2n plus 1 over 2n plus 1 factorial okay here sine of x uh, see this expansion and if we take instead of x uh, we can substitute a matrix a so this is also equal to n is equal 0 to infinity minus 1 to the n now here instead of x we have a so a to the 2n plus 1 over 2n plus 1 factorial okay then uh, here now we have a to the 2n plus 1 but here we have a to the n so uh, now we know a to the 2n plus 1 is equal to p here a to the 2n plus 1 0 0 b to the 2n plus 1 p inverse now we can uh, plug in instead of a to the 2n plus 1 uh, this part uh, so we can write sine of a is equal to now here p we can write uh, outside of the sigma notation so p then sum of n is equal 0 to infinity minus 1 to the n over 2n plus 1 factorial now a to the 2n plus 1 so here we have this matrix times v inverse so here a to the 2n plus 1 0 0 b to the 2n plus 1 times p inverse okay then um, we can also uh, write here p times now a big matrix here uh, sum of 0 to infinity minus 1 to the n we can multiply minus 1 to the n times a to the 2n plus 1 over 2n plus 1 factorial and here 0 here also 0 and uh, this element uh, 0 to infinity minus 1 to the n b to the 2n plus 1 over 2n plus 1 factorial and here we have p inverse okay then uh, sine of a sine of a is equal to p times now we know 
the series expansion of sine of a is equal to uh, this part and here also we have this part so we know instead of capital a now we have simple a so we know this is equal to sine of a 0 0 and here we know this is equal to sine of b and p inverse okay now uh, we have another interesting and important equation uh, the matrix of sine sine of a is equal to p times this matrix times p inverse okay then uh, let's move to our question uh, this is the question a is equal to pi over 4 times 7 minus 3 minus 3 7 so uh, without uh, this pi over 4 I am going to take uh, a matrix capital B is equal to 7 minus 3 minus 3 7 okay then uh, we are going to find the eigenvalues uh, eigenvectors and uh, a matrix uh, with corresponding eigenvectors here P okay uh, first uh, we know um, B minus lambda times I is equal to 0 uh, so here we have now 7 minus lambda so 7 minus lambda here minus 3 minus 3 7 minus lambda is equal to 0 now uh, we can simplify so 7 minus lambda square uh, minus minus 3 times minus 3 we know plus 9 so 9 is equal to 0 then we have sorry 7 minus lambda minus 3 difference of 2 square so here 7 minus lambda plus 3 is equal to 0 so we have lambda is equal to 4 or lambda is equal to 10 okay then uh, when lambda is equal to 4 we know uh, null space of null space of uh, lambda is equal to 4 here 7 minus 4 we know 3 here also 3 so 3 minus 3 here minus 3 3 okay then uh, sorry then uh, we know uh, reduce uh, row echelon form of uh, this null space we can write uh, null space of um, 1 minus 1 0 0 okay then uh, we can write uh, here um, 1 minus 1 0 0 times vector x y is equal to 0 0 now we know uh, x minus y is equal to 0 x minus y is equal to 0 and x is equal to y uh, then uh, we know we can write uh, span of span of 1 1 okay then lambda is equal to 10 we are going to find eigenvalues and eigenvector uh, so sorry uh, we found eigenvalue now we are going to find uh, span of this vector so we know mm, when lambda is equal to 10 we can write uh, null space of null space of uh, here 10 so 10 minus 3 here also minus 3 so minus 3 minus 3 minus 3 minus 3 and row echelon form of this null space we know uh, 1 1 0 0 now we can write 0 uh, sorry 1 1 1 1 0 0 times uh, x y is equal to 0 0 and here now we have x plus y is equal to 0 and x is equal to minus y then uh, we know uh, span of here minus 1 1 minus 1 1 okay then um, now we know uh, eigen sorry now we know uh, the matrix uh, 
with corresponding eigenvectors so p is equal to uh, here we have a span of 1 1 and here minus 1 1 so p is equal to 1 1 uh, minus 1 1 and also we know uh, d is equal to now our eigenvalues we know 4 and uh, 10 so 4 0 0 10 okay then uh, we know uh, we found uh, sine of a is equal to uh, p times sine of a 0 0 our general formula sine of v times p inverse well uh, then we know here p is equal to now we have 1 minus 1 1 1 and uh, here sine of sine of uh, a now uh, we consider um, the matrix uh, 7 minus 3 minus 3 7 without pi over 4 but uh, now in uh, main question we should consider pi over 4 so we can write here now d uh, here uh, value 4 so 4 times pi over 4 and here 0 here uh, 0 now sine of b we know uh, sine of pi over 4 times 10 so uh, 10 times pi over 4 times uh, p inverse p inverse okay then uh, sorry p inverse uh, okay we can find it uh, here now we have 1 minus 1 1 1 uh, and here uh, we know this 4 get cancelled sine of 5 0 0 0 and uh, sine of uh, here 5 over 2 5 times 5 over 2 we know 1 and uh, inverse of this matrix uh, so we know uh, 1 plus so 1 half sorry okay 1 half uh, times mm, then we can write uh, 1 half here again one half uh, here minus one half here uh, one half okay now uh, if we multiply this we have one half times one minus one uh, minus one one okay this is the answer if you like uh, this type of videos please subscribe this channel thank you for watching